Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Tactical Talks. So this Friday, we're going to be talking about my Bravo Concealment Inside the Waistband DOS Holster. Now, I've heard nothing but good things about this. This was part of my Christmas gift. Um, if you guys watch my channel, then you guys know I'm not one to bash a company or to say bad things about them. I'm not going to lie to you guys, this is my first Bravo Concealment Holster. I've done some research on them online. I've heard nothing but great things. They're from here in Texas where I am. So I just thought it would be kind of a cool deal. And I was hooked up you know, by a buddy of mine who got this for me. And I appreciate the gift. Nothing against him. I don't want anybody to, to think that I'm ungrateful for the gift. But I do have an issue with the holster. And that's what we're going to get into. Now, like I said, this is the DOS for a Glock 17 or a full-size Glock with the TLR1 on there. And I do have my uh, Vortex Viper sitting there at top. Now, pros about this holster that I like, it's very slim, it's very sleek, it looks nice. Um, the retention is really good. The gun's not gonna go anywhere. That Those things I do like. I like that it comes with these clips. Now, there's other clips that you can buy to change these out, but I like these. These are the style that I run. Everything thus far looks really good. I was very happy with this. Well, I got this, I put it in. Again, I appendix carry, so as I'm carrying it, I hardly even knew it was there. Everything was awesome, it fit well, I like to walk around with it, and I kind of go through the same routine every time I get a new holster, and I practice with it before I actually go out and start wearing it. Well, one thing that I start doing after having the holster on and feeling how comfortable it's going to be, is I start drawing the gun to see how smooth I can draw, how fast I can draw, See if there's any issues. Now, one thing that I noticed right off the bat on this holster is it doesn't have a retention screw anywhere. These two screws up here are what are holding on this belt clip. Same thing with these. These two screws hold on that belt clip. So there's no retention screws. Like I showed you, the gun's not going anywhere. So I was like, well, I don't really need a retention screw. It's not a big deal. I went ahead and I put this in my belt, in my belt line. I went to draw and I'm not going to show you because it, it just looks ridiculous. I was sitting there trying to draw this gun and pulling and pulling and pulling and the gun wouldn't come out. I was really confused. So I thought, well, maybe my gun, maybe my red dot, maybe something, my sights, maybe those are getting caught up on clothing, on the belt, on something. I took the whole holster out. I started looking at everything. Everything looks good. Now, like I said, on the pro side, I mean, the gap between the light and the holster is perfect. The cutout for the barrel is perfect. If I wanted to have an extended barrel, I could. Um, it does not fit suppressor height sights, but with the setup that I'm running, my sights, my uh, iron sights are right here in the back and my red dots up here and I have a big enough gap to where it wasn't an issue. So I was like, well, what's the problem? <coughs> Put it back in my belt, started pulling, started pulling. So what the heck is going on? So I took it out, pulled it out. If you listen, it's got that nice click, nice loud audible click. It's a good holster, it's got good retention. What's the problem? I figured out if I'm holding from down here, which would mean that this belt clip here would kind of have more of the force. If I'm holding down here and I pull, it comes out. Now it's a little bit difficult and probably needs to be broken in but it does come out. The issue I have is I'm a right-handed shooter. So let's simulate this being in my belt line. I come over with my right hand. Most times I do try to pull straight up, but the reality of the situation is because you're right-handed or because I'm right-handed when I pull, I end up pulling out at an angle. Okay, so let's try to do that. I'm gonna grab down here at the bottom to simulate this belt clip having more of the pressure of where the belt is gonna sit and it's not coming. That's a problem. If I can't pull my gun out, then I have a problem. Well, I pulled and I pulled and I pulled and I thought I was gonna break this belt clip with the way that I was holding and pulling and it's not going anywhere. But if I grab it from the bottom, it comes out. The issue I'm having is I would have to have this gun put in my belt line and I would have to pull essentially this way this, now I can't, there we go, essentially coming out this way and then come across 
to have a nice, quick, easy draw. I'm a little bit disappointed. Now, maybe there's something I'm doing wrong, and that's why I put these videos out to get your guys' feedback, to show you guys, you know, things like this. I love this holster. It's a beautiful holster. I'm not one to go out and buy holsters too much because I do have a buddy of mine that makes my holsters for me. Um, I've never had any issues with his holsters. But anyways, Bravo Concealment, it's, it's an awesome, big, well-known brand. It's amazing. I mean, they're just... I've heard nothing but positive things from them, so I thought I would jump into their realm and get a Bravo Concealment holster. Well, I can't lie, I'm not excited. I got this holster, talked to a buddy of mine, he, he bought this for me because this is a gun that I want to carry more. Now, I do have a holster for this gun from a buddy, and there was nothing wrong with that holster. I just wanted to try something different, and for right now, I'm not going to do nothing with this. This is going to sit here comes out doesn't come out and I'm pulling you know this isn't a joke I'm not trying to mess around or whatever it just does not come out if the pressure is on that side so that's where I'm at with this holster I know this review or this video wasn't very long I was hoping to get this holster I was hoping everything was gonna go well and I could show you guys Bravo concealment you guys already know the name look how awesome their product is go and check it out Unfortunately, that's not the case with this video. I have an issue with this holster. If anybody else has had an issue similar to this, leave a comment down below. If you know a fix to this, let me know. I thought about heating all of this up and kind of wiggling the gun around in there just to kind of loosen up some of the kydex. But at this point, I'm just not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm, I'm just very disappointed. So sorry that this video was kind of short. I wanted to show more me drawing. Um different positioning of the way that I'm going to be carrying this gun because I do normally appendix carry but I wanted to move the gun behind me just to have more options and uh yeah it's it's just not there for me right now so again if there's something that you guys know that I don't comment down below let me know what you think if you guys know anyone at Bravo Concealment um know a way to fix this have them watch this video maybe I'm doing something wrong but when I grab it from the top that gun is stuck so bravo concealment i'm not too happy thank you guys for watching i appreciate everything that you guys do all my new subscribers thanks for checking out the videos leave a comment down below subscribe if you're not subscribed hit that little bell so you get a notification every time i upload a video and i'll see you guys on the next one